Welcome to Ruby Thursday. I'm Melissa Wanish. This is Ruby Snack number 42, Nested Resource with Has Many Association. In this episode, you'll learn how to edit a scaffold for a nested resource with a Has Many Association. If you want to code along, you can clone the Ruby Thursday example app with this branch, which is the Ruby Snack that we last used this example app, which is Ruby Snack 39. You can get clone that Ruby Snack branch, just the single branch, at my GitHub account. Then you'll CD into the app, bundle, and then Rails DB create and DB migrate. A nested resource is when one resource is nested into another. All right, for example, you have a parent and that has an ID, and then there's a child and an ID. The Rails guides say it's common to have resources that are logically children of other resources. The benefit of having a parent as part of the route is so it's easy to define the parent. The route then does that work for you for finding the parent. It also has simpler forms. You're defining that parent and you're putting it in the route of the form as opposed to having a hidden field with the ID for the parent. Either way is fine, there are just these benefits for having a nested resource when it makes sense for your app. First, we're going to create a feature spec. We're going to create evaluations for our crew members. Then we're going to create a crew member. And then, like I said, it's going to be a nested resource. So it'll be new crew member evaluation path, and we'll have to pass that the crew member. Then we're going to have an evaluation assessment that we'll just fill in with some lorem ipsum. And then we'll create our evaluation. We're going to expect the page to have content evaluation was successfully created. We're going to expect that there's one evaluation and that the last evaluation has the attributes. Crew member ID is the crew member that we created, that ID. We're going to be adding to our expectations in a future episode, so that's why I've used the RSpec helper have attributes. Opening up our app, let's go into our spec folder into features and make that new file. I'm going to go ahead and save it as create crew member evaluations spec.rb. And I'll go ahead and paste in the spec that we have. Let's go ahead and run it, make sure it's running correctly. So that's our spec spec and then the name of the file create crew member evaluation spec. Dot rb. It runs and we get our first error message, which is that it can't find the path. Okay, we haven't built that yet. Now we need to create that evaluation. I'm going to scaffold evaluation, but then you'll see how I have to change quite a bit of it because it'll be a nested resource. It is going to belong to a crew member. And you see that the rating is going to be an integer that we're going to make an enum later. Then we'll adjust our routes to make that nested resource. So it'll be resources crew members, then within that, resources evaluations. Back in our terminal, let's paste in that command and run it to create our migration. And it's asking me if I want to overwrite the scaffolds, CSS. And I don't. Let's leave it as is. So I'll just put no. And now let's go ahead and look at our migration. I always like to do that just in case. I did something wrong and oh, I did. I did not want to make a string for start date. I must have had an extra space in there. I want start date to be a date and I do not want a string for just date. So that's what I wanted. All right, let's go ahead and Rails DB migrate. We are in Rails 5 and that runs. Now let's go ahead to our routes and I'm going to take away what was introduced by the scaffold and instead I'm going to have the nested resource. So I'm just going to paste that in and we're done. Let's run our spec again and see where we are. Oh, let's see what happened there. If we scroll up, it says that the test database was not set up. This is happening to me in Rails 5. I hope they get that fixed and I've been searching the web for how to do that. But for now, I'm just going to run the command again. Copy that. Oh, I forgot to put Rails and this time it's migrating the test database. And let's run our spec again, see if we get a new error. And we do, scrolling on up. It doesn't understand an evaluations path. Well, that's because it's going to be a nested resource, so we have some work to do to change that in all of the files that the scaffold produced. 
For our evaluations controller, we're going to add in crew member. We're going to have a before action to set the crew member. And then for index, we'll have it just the crew member evaluations. And for new, it'll be crew member evaluations.new. Edit stays the same. And then create, it's at crew member evaluations create evaluation params. And then after we save, we're going to redirect to the show path, but for that crew member evaluation. Same thing for update. And then the same thing for destroy. We'll redirect to the crew member evaluations path to that index. Now we need to include the set crew member method, which is at crew member equals crew member find params the crew member ID. Then of course we need to add into our crew member model that it has many evaluations. For the evaluation form, we need to set that nested resource as the path for the form. We'll feed in an array that starts with crew member, then evaluation. Now we'll edit our new and edit views. In the new view, we need to fix the link back to be instead crew members evaluations path. That's for the index. Then we move on to the edit view. And then a link to the show page is crew member evaluation path at crew member at evaluation. The nested resource needs both crew member and evaluation to find the correct route. And then the back is to crew member evaluations path to back to the index. Then for the show page, the link to the edit is edit crew member evaluation path. And back again is back to that index for crew member evaluations. And then our index, we're linking to show crew member evaluation, edit, edit crew member evaluation. The link to destroy is a little bit different because in your scaffold, it shows just plain evaluation, not a path. For destroy, you're feeding in just the object. Well, we need to feed in one object, which is that nested resource. So it's at crew member and then evaluation. All right, let's put all this awesome code in. Let's go to our controller. I'm just going to select all of it and paste in the new controller that I've written and save. Now let's go into the crew member model and add has many evaluations. And now I'm going to the form for new evaluation and selecting all of this and replacing the new form. Now we'll open up the new view and replace the to back. Now let's go to edit and replace these lines with the new routes. And then to show, we're going to replace the links. We'll fix up the show page a little more in future episodes. Saving that. And now for our index page, we'll replace these links with the correct paths. And save. All right, let's run this spec again and see where we are now that we've added evaluations. And it passes, our work is done. Thank you so much for watching this episode. If you are not already on my mailing list, click that Ruby to head on over to rubythursday.com to sign on up to get more awesomeness in your inbox. If you are not already subscribed on YouTube, click that red button to head on over and do that. Feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you soon.